fun to do a quick what's behind me video. I've done one of these before like a while back when I was in my old apartment and I used to film in front of my Spider-Man wall. Pointing over there because it's over there now. Uh, and that'd be fun to do kind of a close-up style one. Kind of, I mean, you guys can see what I have, but I thought it'd be fun to give like more close-up, in-depth version of that in case you were at all interested. So, here we go. I'm gonna zoom on in and show you guys a one how long and sit so. So, to start, obviously I have a couple of different ghost face stuff on this wall. So, I have this hanging ghost face, a uh, full body. I have this ghost face knife. Um, it is from Scream 4. So this Hanging on here, it's just like a bat. Little oh, thing like this hat, um, which I got from Michaels. I have a couple of different window sticky stuff on here, um, but this one is just a green skeleton one. Some of these little bat guys, and again, another sticky with this one has a little ghost, uh, some bats. Stars. Girl Scout postcard. Did talk about these little wall stickies in a previous video. This little ghost right here. I then have this boo sign. A metal wall plate with a raven on it. Wall sticky. Ghost, uh, blue star, this, which is a coffin shaped um, thing, the backing and for one of the pins that came with one of my horror blocks. Another ghost face mask. I have this Be Afraid wall decor, which Oh, but I got this probably three or four Halloweens ago. Matching plate with a skull on it. Plushy ghost face from Target. More window stickies. Carnage Candy nameplate on a whiteboard. Plastic frame with a skull. Mask I got in New Orleans. Well, and that is it for the wall, and now I will do a close-up on the side pieces. So, we'll do a bit of a close-up on my side things. So, I just have these, two of these, which just hold DVDs. Um, maybe I'll do a DVD collection video at some point. But, yes, this is just the right side one. Um, so, I've talked about this before in a haul video. But it's just this little mirror. It's got a skeleton. Hello. And that just sits here. Almost knocked it over. Little ghost face cup. I've got two of those. See the other one on the other side. This little pumpkin, which was sewn to me by a friend. Just sits there. This, which was a candle melter. I had it for a while. It broke, so it's like that. Um, I melted some wax on it. Some of it came off, um, so I need to redo it, but yeah, it's just a little ghost. This, which I got at a museum, like, forever ago. Just a, yeah. No, anyway, if you know anything about Egyptian stuff, there's that. This little T.Y. beanie, which I actually have two of these. My boyfriend gave me one and my best friend gave me one. So, cutie. 
um, little candle my mom gave me. Don't really light it anymore. I melted it down to a pretty decent size. I like it, so I want to keep it so I didn't melt it too much. These which, little skeletons. Candles I've talked about before. Um, this one's just not lit. I haven't lit it. This one did light and it melted. <laughs> so then over to the other side. This is the other side. I have this little skull that I bought just at the dollar store and I painted it. I haven't finished it. It's supposed to look like a Ouija board. Um, I started it, just never finished. Maybe eventually I will. It's just Cheap plastic, a uh, not very scary, but a Hello Kitty stuffed animal that I actually made at a Build-A-Bear with a very good friend of mine. Um, she made one as well. I have these little matching necklaces, so I keep that in the background as a reminder of her. Uh, Lisa Frank coloring book. This, which I've talked about before in a video as well, in my Michael haul, it is just. One of those sand, sand counter things, and it's skeleton, and then a, another ghost face mug, cup. It's kind of dirty, but yeah, that's what that looks like. So those are my side things.